How difficult and how bad is it in some ways for journalists in the Philippines at the moment? It's incredibly hard and I think it's happening all around the world and you know starting in November 2017 you saw that cheap armies on social media is rolling back democracy and you've seen the number of countries go from something like 27 to 48 in a year's time. That's that's in incredibly difficult and it's like the frog in boiling water it changes and you don't even know it um, so in the Philippines what we've seen is a drug war that is brutal it's killed what the police has claimed 5,000 people they've killed 5,000 people uh, but there's an, a special case they call them the homicide cases under investigation and that number is over 30,000 people so this is mincing numbers to try to hide exactly how many people have died since July of 2016 uh, it's alarming to me and it's alarming that simultaneously that level of impunity is matched by a vitriolic uh, war, information operations on social media, on Facebook. Starting in July 2016 when the drug war began, anyone who questioned the killings, a journalist, news organizations, we all came under attack and it's systematic, it is exponential, it is meant to silence these questions. But And then what are you trying to do to disrupt that essentially? We're trying because, to... Because you yourself are under pressure from the state. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're trying to fight to the impunity on these two fronts. First, by continuing to do our jobs as journalists, shine the light. Second, we can't be credible if you are getting attacked exponentially. I mean, there was a period of time after I did two investigative pieces on Facebook on what's happening on social media, I was attacked by 90 hate messages per hour. Per hour! You have, this is a new form of attack against journalists and it's psychological warfare. So. Obviously technology has to be part of the solution, you have to fight technology with technology degree, but what about yourself? I mean, do you ever you potentially have a prison sentence hanging over you? I mean, do you think it's worth it? The, the, the pressure that you are under. So by doing my job, I could go to jail for up to 15 years. And uh, you know, the funny thing is, I just take one step, one foot in front of the other. I do my job uh, because I know if I don't, I'll have accepted this. I'll the these exponential attacks are meant to pound you into silence. The government's legal cases we're facing. I have five arrest warrants, right? I have, I've filed bail, uh, I've posted bail on, on five uh, case, cases of the same thing. Uh, I just don't want to be intimidated, I don't want to be bullied, and I think now more than ever, the mission of journalism is incredibly important, not just for Philippine democracy, but for all democracies around the world.